Kristen Ayers in Calistoga. Altogether, 1,400 people in Napa and Sonoma counties lost power today. And tonight, some of them are telling us the way PG&E handled it was overkill. Crystal Gaona heard it this morning. When I woke up, I did notice a lot of wind. And knew the fire danger in Calistoga was escalating. It was super hot. I really thought that another fire was going to happen again. The fire never happened, but power outages did, leaving convenience stores dark and elderly communities like this one without air conditioning in soaring temperatures. Some residents say the outages went too far. Emphasize more on uh, fire prevention than turning people's powers off. That's their livelihood. I don't agree with what they did. PG&E officials say residents were given multiple notices over 48 hours. And then we contact them again at 24 hours, and then we contacted them again to say this is happening or this is not happening. Like in the case Monday night, we let them know that it was not happening Monday night. So for some people that was confusing. It was just a very unique situation where it was, again, two potential, you know, fire risk weather events, heightened weather events happening back to back. They say they'll review their performance today for future power shutdowns. Even as PG&E announced that power was back on in Napa and Sonoma counties, they say about half of the counties where power was lost in the Sierra foothills remain without power tonight. In Calistoga, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.